Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is part two of desktop troubleshooting. In previous class, we discussed about how we can resolve the most common issues related to desktop. And uh, in previous class, we completed five different troubleshooting, and these troubleshootings are really important for every system administrator. So, according to the agenda, we already discussed top ten. Uh, common issues are top 10 uh, important issues related to the desktop and their troubleshooting so we are still on the same page and uh, remaining five different troubleshooting i'm going to guide you in this particular class so let me proceed with let let, let me move ourselves to the screen desktop is, uh, screen and uh, discuss about the another remaining uh, uh, issues of desktop so let me move ourselves to the screen but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live based, uh, live practical based video without skipping any step. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving ourselves to the screen, the desktop screen. And I hope you guys are able to see my desktop screen. And this is the agenda, top 10, top 10 desktop issues. And in this top 10 desktop issues we already discussed till map network drive disconnected let's talk about six troubleshooting our issues outlook is not working on your desktop right because you know that outlook is a very important and common application that to use by all employees it may be it is applicable for it and non it organization both so it's our responsibility we must need to know about the how we can resolve the issues related to the outlook for example, like uh, this is Outlook, right? This is our Outlook that I installed on my base machine. And unfortunately, whenever I try to open Outlook, I'm unable to uh, log in uh, like uh, the access Outlook. So for this particular task, basic steps required to resolve the problem of Outlook is not opening. You just need to open Window Plus R and in Window Plus R, first of all, you need to open your Outlook in safe mode. Outlook.exe and space forward slash safe. Whenever we press enter, it will redirect you on the page of Outlook safe mode. If you are able to access your Outlook in safe mode, uh, then what you need to do, you just need to uninstall your Outlook application from base machine and try to install it again. Second important part while accessing our Outlook before that you also need to check you are able to access your email ID with the help of web browser or not. So mostly we are able to access the web uh, uh, Outlook over a web browser but unfortunately by using the application we are not able to access it. So basic step required first step you just need to open your Outlook with the help of safe mode and uh, if you are not able to open Outlook in safe mode you are not able to access your email ID in safe mode as well. We need to uninstall by using control panel basic steps required like we just need to open control panel and from control panel you just need to uninstall outlook and install it again and create a new profile of your email id right so in this case i just install one outlook uh, service in our uh, uh, like as in windows 11 machine so our responsibility we need to uninstall it and after that install it again Right, so this is the step that you need to use in case of uh, uh, resolving the problem related to the outlook and let's talk about the another important issues related to desktop. So another problem, getting a PIPA after manual IP address. So this is really important uh, point that you need to know. If you are getting a PIPA after configuring the IP address manually, although you are getting the PIPA IP address. So it means that that TCP IP stack is not working properly and you have to reset the TCP IP stack. For example, you successfully provide the IP address of 192.168.1. something and once you save this particular IP address and you are trying to open your computer and open CMD and execute the command of IP config, still we are getting 169 based IP address. It means that uh, the TCP IP stack is corrupted on your computer. So you need to reset it. How we can reset that? We just need to open CMD, able to configure any, manu any manual IP address on your computer. So for this particular task, you just need to open CMD, run as an administrator and type net sh, right, space, interface, or you just need to type int space ip space 
reset. This is the command that you need to execute on your computer and it will reset the all TCP IP stack and clean the information or clean the cache memory of our TCP IP stack because the TCP IP stack is responsible to contain the information about the IP address, NetBIOS name, uh, DNS name and about your local domain controller. So once you reset, mandatory execute another command which is really common ipconfig uh, slash release right and then ipconfig slash renew ipconfig slash release definitely we disconnect because we take an RDP of this machine so maybe we'll lose the RDP yeah definitely and once so you execute the command of tcp uh, ip config slash uh, uh, release then you need to execute the command of renew as well so that will help us to resolve the problem related to the uh, ip address okay let's proceed with another important part another important option is relating to login server not available login server unavailable this is really important for everyone we must need to know about the use cases and how we can resolve this particular issues the question, for example, you are taking care of your domain controller. This is our ADDS server and uh, multiple client machines are connected with the same domain controller and number of machines are available are connected with the same domain controller. Now, we successfully converted these machines from work group to the domain controller. These machines, we converted from work group to the domain, right? We created multiple users. AWS, Azure, Telnet, Tata, right? Multiple users we created on our domain controller and by using these users, we are able to access, we are able to log in our client computer, all right? So unfortunately, previously we are able to access our ADDS user from client operating system, but now whenever user try to log in the active active user from from this uh, from his own computer means from work group mas uh, domain based machine he is getting error log on server unavailable right unavailable so this is most common issue of our work group and domain sorry domain client network environment so to resolve this problem what are the steps required very first step log in your client pc using local administrator because you don't have a access of domain user so definitely we need to open our machine login your machine with the help of local administrator and after that proceed to check connection right connection between domain controller to the client machine because if both machines are not able to communicate to each other then definitely you are not able to access your domain controller users from client computer Number third, if you are able to access, you are able to make communication, but they, still you are not able to uh, like uh, open uh, your uh, client machine with the help of active active user, then check prefer DNS and alternate DNS must be available in our NIC card. Prefer an alternate DNS IP must be available in the ethernet properties next if it is available still you are not able to access then convert pc to work group this is final step then make it member of domain controller make it member of domain controller again you need to make it member of domain pc these all are the steps required to resolve the problem related to if you are getting an error login server not available all right domain join error how to access network printer these two common step the another important part domain join error error so in case of domain join error, error like you are trying to access your uh, client machine you are trying to convert your client machine from bur group to domain this is our domain that we established with name of class.com right this is our domain controller one client machine is available in the environment and both the machines are connected to each other both the machines are connected to each other this machine available in work group whenever you try to access 
whenever we try to log in a uh, convert our machine from our group to domain you must need to take care some prerequisite first configure manual r manual r automatic ip address in client pc right in client pc number second prefer and alternate ip must be available must be configured in our client pc number third client must be log in log in using local administrator all right using local admin the first and last and really important option that you need to uh, the last and really important prerequisite like check the time between client to domain means the timing must be matched to each other right client machines time and server domain controller time must be matched to each other if it is mismatched then definitely we are not able to convert our machine from bar group to the domain so these all are the step prerequisite you need to take care and definitely we are able to resolve the problem last problem how to access in network printer very simple steps required how to access network printer right how to access network printer let's talk about the use cases of how to access network printer this is mediator i'm talking about the switch network switch and n number of machines are available this is our network printer which is also available in the environment multiple pcs are connected with the same environment our responsibility to access our network printer from client pc so what are the steps required to access our client pc we have a two different method manual access manual access of printer and second using gpu using group policy we are able to map our uh, printer connect our printer to multiple machines which are available in the environment back to the client pc let me access my windows computer so a lost rdp let me try to access it again because we executed the command of uh, release and renew so maybe we are not able to our ip address of machine may be changed we need to execute the command of ip config renew as well release and renew both command we need to execute and uh, maybe we'll get a one ip address in our uh, system although i'm using 192.168.1.13 okay we successfully get ip address let me try to connect it again same ip address assign again my router can assign the same ip address to the machine access network printer open control panel in the control panel we are able to find multiple options are available so i'm going to open uh, devices and printers select devices and printer icon multiple options are available you just need to click on add printer in the add printer if any network printers are available in the environment definitely you will find in this particular option even you don't know about the ip address you don't know about the name of network printer but it will automatically fetch the information about printer's model and printer name in this particular panel you just need to select and next 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 if you know about the ip address then very simple just need to select uh, 
using IP address just need to provide IP address and host name this is the place where we can provide the IP address of printer like 100 this is the IP address of our network printer next it will fetch the information about our uh, network printer and you just need to proceed with next 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 definitely we are able to access the IP address we are able to access the network printer second important part using group policy by using the GPU yes we are able to access our network printer means multiple machines are available in the environment and you want to map the net same printer to multiple computers then GPU come into the picture so guys this is all about the top 10 troubleshooting related to the desktop I am going to give you the complete information about system administrator content in English. So please stay tuned with Teach Me Cloud and do subscribe here on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We will connect soon in next class and discuss more about it. Take care guys. Bye bye.